doing this for um, the YouTube channel. So if you guys ever want to do it again, you can. Um, you can feel free to use the, the bolster or the blanket under your hips, something like that, and um, have all your equipment near you. Welcome to yoga. <laughs> so we'll go with Lisa. All right. So find a good space for you, good seated place in the center of your, the front of your mat. Um, I have my mat lengthwise, but you guys might want to have it the way you set it up in class. Forward position, totally up to you. Okay, you can turn your head to the side to see me or forward. Certain postures you'll be turning. So whatever works. All right. So when you guys are ready, just take hold of the shoulders and start to roll the shoulders back. So you start to roll the shoulders back. And we want to continue to lift and circle the shoulders back as we breathe in and breathe out. So let's go ahead and get some nice breath here. And just a few more, just keep rolling them back. Two and one, beautiful. Let's open up through the arms, spread through the chest and lift up. And as we breathe in and breathe out, we'll look back at the thumbs. And as we exhale, we'll swan dive forward and bring the arms behind you and lean forward. Bring the hands forward and reach up again. So let's try this again. Nice inhale. And exhale, swan dive. Reach the arms as high as you can behind you and lean forward from the back. Try that twice more. We'll slide forward with the hands, reaching up. Inhale. Good breath here. Exhale, dive forward. Empty your lungs. And one more time. Get that nice breath in. And exhale. Beautiful. This time, bring the hands right behind the head and just reach the head back, open up through the chest. So we want to try to think about, you guys, the collarbone being open. So think about those like handlebars right there, stretching out as much as you can, your elbows pulling back. Relax your jaw. So the clenching of the jaw will affect the hips. So we're going to just try to soften the jaw as much as possible as we breathe in and breathe out and twist right to left. So we just inhale, exhale. And just getting used to that soft feeling at the neck and the jaw and just starting to work on some rotations, gradually making the movements bigger. And one more time and then release. Good. Reaching all the way out and down and making your way into child's pose. So when you guys are ready, just go ahead. And this again can be used like a bolster like this if you want to, or you can just switch it to the side if you have it. So just go ahead and stretch the arms forward and reach your thighs back as much as you can. So get those thighs to come back. Feel the lower back come to the floor in between your thighs. Let your chest and your head come down, working your way to the floor. And again, listen to your breathing. So good, generous breath. So a nice inhale and an emptying. So soften your belly as you empty and try to release and let go of tension around the neck the jaw, shoulders, and upper back. Feel your weight evenly back into your hands and into your hips, so you have an even weight distribution. Bring your arms all the way over to the right side as far as you can, and bring your left hand on top of your right hand, and just go ahead and stretch down, listen to your breath. Inhale, exhale. And then slowly go to the other side. So make your way over to the left side. Bring your right hand on top of your left and breathe deeply. We'll come right back into the center. And as we make our way up onto all fours, we're getting ready for cat and cow. So bring your knees right under your hips, wrists right under your shoulders. And you want to get your weight evenly between your knees and your hands so you're not all the way forward into your hands. So try to get your weight to your knees and to your hands evenly. And let the movement come from here, so from the tailbone. We're going to start to drop the tailbone real heavy and scoop into the belly and let the top of your head come through the legs. So you're going to get that feeling as the top of the head reaches through. And then again, from the tailbone, you're starting to reach the sitting bones up high. That's like a wave and it makes a wave. 
up to the crown of the head. Then you'll lift up. So move from the tail. So you drop the tail down to come into cat stretch. And sitting bones wide and high and lifting to bring you back up into cow pose. And just do that a couple more times. Just again, initiating from the base of your spine. And one more time, from the base. And open, good. And so we'll come into neutral from here. So you're gonna draw the ribs in, draw the belly in, keep your glutes nice and strong, and then stretch your right leg out. Now if you wanna put your left hand on your lower back to make sure that your lower back stays flat, your sacrum is strong, and the lower belly draws in, go ahead and do that. And you want to try to stretch the back of your knee. So get rid of tension behind your knee and stretch the inside of your elbow. And so I have the palm up, but then I turn the palm in. And just start to lift from your elbow, lift from your belly, and lift from the leg. So you want to keep that back of the knee open. And again, your jaw is relaxed so that you're breathing in and breathing out. And one more time, breathing in and breathing out. And then we're gonna squeeze that knee right up into the chest here. So you're gonna grab hold of your shin, hug the hip, and let that tailbone get real heavy here as you bring your forehead or your nose to the knee. Squeeze your hip and belly. Beautiful. And let's release that down so the knee comes right underneath. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll slide that left leg out. Again, if you want to feel the sacrum on the lower back, nice and steady and flat, lower belly's in against it. Extend the back of the knee, get a good stretch. Extend the elbow, have maybe the palm up, and then turn in, and then lift. So lifting the arm, lift in the belly, and lift in the leg. Breathing in and breathing out. So soften your gaze, that's your eyes feel very soft as you listen to that beautiful breath, helping to flow you into these postures. And then as you exhale, tuck in, tuck that tailbone, get real heavy, grab hold of the shin, and tuck it in, forehead comes down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful. All right, let's release that down and curl the toes under, Walk the hands forward, so you're just gonna come into extended puppy pose and stretch as much as you can right here, you guys, at the outer shoulders and the arms. And squeeze here if you can at the hips. So you're gonna squeeze your hips and fold them in as much as you can. Your sitting bones go high, your chest comes down, and you're squeezing the hips and moving your shoulder blades down your back. Two more breaths. And one. And then we'll come on up and come into Downward Dog. So just reach your hips back. Still feel your tailbone heavy to the floor. But now the sitting bones are opening up nice and wide. Stretch the backs of your legs. Let your head hang down. Move your head toward your toes. And let your heels get heavier with your tail. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's start to lift that right leg up and get a good opening here and feel your inner thigh lift to the sky. So right inner thigh to the sky, left inner thigh down to the ground. Open them up a little more. And tuck a knee into chest and just step that in and forward. Ground your back leg. And you're gonna keep that left hand down and bring that right arm up. Now you guys wanna push from the elbow. So get that elbow to come back more. Breathe deeply. And if you want to, and if you can, you're gonna look back at that back foot, grab your foot, reach it in, and keep pushing that arm back, and open up gently the front of the leg. If you don't wanna do that, you can keep it down, and just reach that way, totally fine. Breathe and breathe out. And slowly release, and come back into downward dog. So we're just gonna reach it back again. And open up those hips, let the heels come down. Hollow out your belly. Let your neck release. Bring your left leg up nice and high, just get that nice stretch. And go ahead and keep stretching that left leg up nice and high 
and that right inner thigh down to the ground. So you want to think of your inner thigh lifting up and the other one lift and reaching down. So you're getting a good opening at the thighs, breathing in, breathing out. And when you're ready, step it in and forward. Come up as far as you can. If you don't quite make it, just go ahead and scooch it forward. Bring that back knee down. Lift that left arm up. So you come into this twist and you pull your elbow back. So it's not so much coming from your back or your rib cage, but more from the shoulder. And again, you can stay there or bend your back knee and go ahead and grab your foot. And again, it's your choice. Maybe if it's too much, just drop it down. But just keep pulling that elbow back, shoulder open, relaxing the jaw and breathing. Beautiful. So we're going to let that go and come into forward fold. So the back foot's going to step in and you'll bring those feet together. Bend your knees here and reach the hands back and open up through the arms. So let the inside of your wrists get nice and strong. Shake out your head. Pull the chest a little bit longer. And from here, swing the arms down and through, coming through chair pose. All the way up with the neck letting the head drop back. Hands together if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift up, stretch the hips, and open up into a little back bend if it feels good. If it doesn't, don't do it. But you want the back bend to come from your upper back, not your mid back. So your inner thighs are nice and strong, glutes are active, and you're pulling from that upper back if it works for you. Now from this back bend, you're just gonna lean over to the right side, and squeeze those elbows together and back. So behind you and squeeze them in toward each other as you bend over to the side. Breathe into that outer hip, neck and jaw so soft. Inhale, rise up, looking so good. Lift from your belly, ground your feet, let's go to left side. So as you come to left side, pull those elbows toward each other, reach them back behind you. Even if they don't move, just keep thinking they're going that way. Soften the jaw, breathe and breathe out. Go a little bit more, you guys. All right, inhaling up. Exhale, squeeze your belly, come down. Now this time you can have straighter legs. So you're in a forward fold, but you're gonna try to tone up your legs. So your kneecaps are gonna lift up and you're gonna fold a little bit deeper into this stretch. So it's gonna feel like you guys are doing an abdominal crunch. It's gonna feel like you're squeezing your abs, like when you're lying on the ground and trying to lift your chest to your legs. It's gonna be like that. So squeeze the abdominal muscle as you breathe, relaxing the sides of the hips and the neck. And we come into halfway lift. And we'll step back into plank position. As you're coming back into plank, you wanna hold the ribs in. Stay in your plank position and try to get your weight evenly distributed from your feet to your hands. So once again, you're not just into your hands, okay? You got some good even weight back and front so it's evenly distributed. And you're breathing in, breathing out. Now you wanna hold the pelvis steady, hold the tummy steady, and hold the chest steady as you come down. Inhale, draw your body forward, hips come up. Lift through the crown of your head rather than your chin and stretch your inner thighs. Exhale into downward dog again. All right. So get a good reach in downward dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Now we're gonna lift that right leg up to the sky and bend your knee open. So we're gonna turn that right knee open. And if you want to, you can start to bend your left forearm toward the floor, keeping your right arm straight. Breathe in, breathe out. Extend that left arm and step that foot forward. So you're gonna reach it all the way forward and ground your back foot. Place your hands on your hips as you come up. So we're gonna come into warrior one. So your back leg is straight and the front knee is bent and you're gonna move your left hip forward and that right hip back until they're next to each other. Keep that kneecap nice and strong. Open up, but suck this in as you lift it up. Don't let the ribs pop forward. Reach up nice and tall and again, you're breathing and pulling this in and up. And you can either look forward or drop back. I like the drop back for these days when we're working at home or looking at our phones and things like that to help to nourish the neck. 
But if it hurts your neck, don't drop back, okay? So you wanna just keep looking forward. And keep straightening out that back leg. Squeezing the glute muscle, that bum cheek on that left side. Two and one. Now you're gonna dive the arms out to the side and reach the arms back like we did at the beginning and dive forward with the chest. So you're still in that warrior one. Clasping the hands together, don't launch your neck forward. Let it come from the lower back. So let your lower back come down and then let the chest and the head follow and flow. Bringing the arms up. And you're breathing deeply, keeping a lot of your weight into your back foot, that left foot. Inhale and exhale. Staying down there, release the hands to the floor. And so your hands are staying in that same spot. You just change your legs. So your front leg straightens out and your back leg bends. And we're gonna press into the back leg, but keep weight into that front foot, okay? So keep stepping strong into your front foot and elongating your side body. Try to feel like your inner thighs can move backwards more, like release them back. Jaw releases, so your hamstrings are released. And then slowly come forward and step into plank. All right, so we'll come down, keep the belly steady, chest and the hips. Inhale, draw it up from the crown of the head. You can lift your chin, just make sure it comes from the crown of the head. You're not leading with the chin. And then exhale into downward dog and reach your back, flare open your back. Hollow out your tummy, keep the belly lifted. Left leg comes up when you're ready. Bend the knee in the air, opening up that knee to the side. And if you want to, you bend your right elbow toward the floor, keeping that left arm straight. And you're breathing deeply. Beautiful. Straighten out that right arm and then step that foot forward into warrior. So squeeze it up there, get that nice, good reach and press your back foot down. So as you come up, I'm gonna open up into warrior, so you're gonna come right up into this warrior position. Your hands will be on your hips to start. Move your right hip forward, pull your left hip back till they're even. Front leg bends, back leg straight. Reaching out to the side and lift. Now again, you're drawing the belly in and up. So the skin of the navel lifts up to the sternum all the way up to the chin. And you keep lifting. And again, dropping head back to look at thumbnails or not, that's your call but you're breathing deeply as you're in this. Keep coming into the hips a little more. And then we'll lift up and dive down. So that front leg stays nice and strong, arms behind, and the chest feels like it's swooping forward, right? Weight is in the back leg. And your lower back is gonna start to come down as you clasp your hands together. And you come from the lower back, but then let your chest and your head come down. Keep emphasizing the step into the back foot as you breathe in and breathe out. Ground through your feet, beautiful. Release your hands forward onto the mat and then change your legs. So your front leg will straighten out and your back knee will bend. And you keep your weight into your front foot as you shift back and see if you can release your inner thighs back and the neck and jaw. As you breathe in and breathe out, step those toes down. Beautiful, all right, let's come forward again into plank. And from plank, we're gonna go to side plank. So it doesn't matter which side, and just pick a side, lift up that chest, lift up your hips, lift up your forehead from the ground, sides of the neck are long, jaw is relaxed. Try to get your hips as high as you can and take your top foot behind you and going into wild thing. Now this is gonna stretch your chest and your arm that's on the ground. So you're spinning open that chest and bicep. Breathing in, breathing out. Head can go back or stay up. That's up to you to decide. Even weight on hands and feet. And then unwind. And of course, we're gonna do it on the other side. So I'm just gonna turn so I can still see, but you guys are gonna to go to side two. Just flip over. And same thing, arm that's on the ground, chest on the ground, gets a stretch, 
Lift your hips higher, please. Higher and higher and higher. Neck is up, neck is long. Top leg behind. Spin around. Coming into your wild thing. Freeing up space in the neck, in the belly. Keep the weight even, hands and feet. Keep your breath flowing. And unwind. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna walk or jump our feet to our hands again, and we'll have our straight leg forward bend. So you guys have straight legs, forward bend. Squeeze your abs. So crunch, 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 crunch. Shoulders down away from the ears. So if you're not sure how to do that, pull your shoulders toward your ears and then bring them away from the ears. So the head is down. We're gonna do a deep little, deep little, deep inner thigh stretch. So you're gonna take one leg back and go into the width of your yoga mat and open your knees out to the side. So you're gonna be in this position. Um, I know you might feel, you'll probably be to the side like this to see, but your hands are gonna be on your inside of your knees and pushing the knees open but also you want to take the skin of the knees and lift up. So your inner thighs are lifting up. Now I like to use my forearms and you can lean forward on this. You decide if you want to use hands or forearms, but you don't want to pull the inner thighs down. You want to lift them up. So you got to kind of use the arms to pull up and away. And the more you release here, the groin, the more you release at the inner thighs, the more your hips will go down. Kind of wiggle a little right to left so you can feel the stretch, breathe in, breathe out. And we're gonna go to one side. So you're gonna lunge to a side, pick a side, straightening out this leg for that inner thigh stretch. It's okay if you're on the toes of this foot, that's okay, because your hands are down supporting you. But you wanna try to stretch this leg and make sure the inner thigh does not roll downward, but rather pulling it up away from the floor. So you can use your hand if you need to, or just use your foot and glute strength. So you're building your strength in your bum. And just keep pulling open and lifting and lifting. And we'll try the other side. So come right over to side two and come down however you need to. On the toes, on the heel, that's not the key part. This is the key part right here. Pull that inner thigh. So this is gonna help you in like warrior two and triangle pose and such like that. You're lifting this muscle. So if the muscle's not doing it on its own, just use your hand to pull up at the inside of your knee, inside of your leg, right, the whole thing. Lift to get that stretch and pull it out away from the hip. Breathe in, breathe out. And one, good, and we'll come up again and we'll open up your legs, even out your feet, turn them in, stretch the hamstrings, release the jaw and come down. Reach your arms all the way through, widen your lower back, Sitting bones are wide and lift it to the sky. So you really want to activate your glutes, flex them. Good. Now without moving your leg weight or hips, you're just going to lay over your right leg. So without moving your leg strength, keep your hips even. Move your torso to the right. And you're trying to do your, use your belly muscles to bring your chest down, forehead down, and breathe. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll come over to the left leg, but again, keep your weight grounded, left hip over to the left, right hip stays over on the right side. And just keep turning your torso and contracting to get a little closer. Beautiful. We'll come into the center. We'll do one more shoulder opener here. Just reach the hands back behind, roll your shoulders back like you did at the beginning, rolling your shoulders back. Reach the wrists nice and straight and strong and pull your chest up over. And the crown of the head comes down between the toe line or behind the toe line if you can. For three, stay strong, two, and one. Release the hands to the hips. Bring yourself up to standing, yahoo. All right, and step back to the front of your yoga mat. So you're gonna step right into the front, wherever the front is, so you have the length of your mat. Open up through the shoulders again, reaching all the way open and take your back bend if you feel like back bend is right. Exhale, forward fold, squeeze your belly. Squeeze that crunch, legs are toned. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to plank position. So we come down to plank and down to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, roll your shoulders back, 
Long, long legs. Exhale, downward dog. So we'll do one more standing series. Bring your right leg up to the sky and squeeze from your right inner thigh. So lift your right inner thigh higher to the sky, further back. Yeah. And stretch that left one down. And then bend your right knee in the air, you guys, and turn your right inner thigh up and out. So this is your stretch where we're lifting the inner thigh and you're stretching your inner thigh. Your arms are straight and strong. And slowly tuck that knee in, step it forward, and we're gonna get ready for triangle pose. So step that foot forward, the right foot forward, straighten out your leg. Make sure those back toes are turned in a little, heel in line with arch, arms out to the side. So remember you guys, the inner, inner thigh is not only stretching this way, but you're pulling the muscle from the inside of the knee all the way up toward the quad. So you want to roll it open as much as you can. Squeeze your feet toward each other. Extend over that right leg. Yeah. Come all the way down. So this is where you can use the block if you need it. You can also just grab hold of the front of your leg or go behind your leg. Now I want you guys to tone up your elbows and move your elbows like you're moving them backwards, but there's a wall there and you're not going to actually move them. Just press them back without letting them fall back. Lengthen two sides of your neck. Turn your chin up and relax the sides of your jaw. Relax the jaw deeply. Unclench your teeth so that the hips will open and the hamstring will open. Now we bend the knee here. So you're going to bend your knee and bring that arm either in front or behind the leg, lifting that inner thigh into the stretch. So if you want to use your arm to pull that inside of your knee up and open, go ahead. Top arm reaches overhead for side angle stretch. Squeeze your glutes. Anchor your feet. Breathe in and breathe out. Just try to get rid of tension around neck and jaw, hips and shoulders. All right, keep that leg as it is and then rise up, rise up to warrior two. So we'll come right up into warrior two, awesome. Stretch open, good. And we'll lean back, but keep that inner thigh lifted and bring that back hand behind your back, top hand behind your back like they're gonna reach each other. And pull the elbow back. Lift through the chest. Inhale and exhale. And as we unwind, we come over that front leg. So straighten up your leg and turn to your front leg. This is where you might want to use the blocks if you have them or if you have a chair or something, you can put a chair in front of you. But square your hips off and keep your weight on your back leg as if you're going to step backwards even though you're coming forward. So don't put your weight forward like you're going to walk forward. As if you're going to walk backwards, step back and then come forward into your fold. So keep stepping into the back leg, reach your hands block or floor. You can slide your hands back further or far forward in front of you. Squeeze your belly, relax your jaw, inhale, exhale. Breathe and breathe out. Beautiful. All right, you're going to step into plank and come take it into side two. So come down to chaturanga. Inhaling up. Exhale into downward dog. As you reach back, you guys, press back into your feet. So once again, you're continuing to notice if your weight is more on your hands than into your feet and send some weight back there as you breathe in, breathe out. So let's lift that left leg up. And again, from that inner thigh stretch, you turn that knee out to the side, bend and lift. Keep the weight back there. Keep lifting that inner thigh and then stepping that leg forward for triangle pose on this side. So your left foot comes forward and that right foot turns in a little bit. Hips are squared. Inner thigh lifts, feet squeeze together. Open up through the chest. Yeah. Come over that left leg. So come on over that left side. Yeah. Use your hand to your leg. You can rest it on a block. Again, if you have a chair, you can put it on the chair. Just breathe and breathe out. Lengthen two sides of your neck. Turn your chin up. Breathe and breathe out. So try to relax. Neck, jaw, shoulders. I know I say it a lot. But it's so important. Soften and breathe. Gaze is relaxed. 
And from here, you bend your knee and come into side angle stretch. So this arm can come to the leg, behind the leg, in front of the leg. Just keep pulling the inside of that knee up and over and reaching that top arm over. Glute is strong. Think about that weight in your back foot, that left one, as well as the front. Breathe in and breathe out. Soften where you feel tension. Common tension, again, are the ones I talk about. Shoulders, neck, upper back. And then keep that leg bent and rise up into your warrior two. So we'll open, open, open. Inner thigh strong. Back hand comes around your back. You lean back. Top hand goes back. Connect the elbows if you want. Squeeze your glutes. Breathe in and breathe out. Just listen to your breath. All right, we're gonna unwind and come on up, straighten out the leg and turn to your front leg, to your left leg. So you're gonna pivot your hips around. Again, your weight, you guys, is into your back leg. So try not to come forward into your front leg. You wanna keep stepping back, like you're gonna walk backwards and keep that back there as you come forward into your bend. So keep feeling like you're gonna step backwards and then hands go to the blocks the floor and you're breathing. I'm opening the door. <laughs> Get some air in here. So inhale, exhale. That's the beauty of this place. We can open up windows. <laughs> so keep coming down. All right, so you guys are gonna step your back leg in and come into Malasana squat. So you're gonna squat down as you come down. So it doesn't matter if your heels, toes are apart, tailbone real heavy, jaw relaxed, neck and shoulders super relaxed, and breathe in, breathe out. If you're able to, you're gonna release your hands. If you feel like you still need your hands here, go for it. And you're gonna try to get your lower back to come down and forward. And breathe in, breathe out. Shoulders relaxed, low back comes down. If you guys wanna practice crow, you can, but again, you don't have to. You can stay in Malasana squat, but if you haven't done a crow in six weeks, <laughs> shift your weight into your hands now, hug into those shoulders and lift up one foot at a time. Hug into your hips, hug into your belly. Stay with that if you can. But try to relax the jaw as you do it. And then slowly release it down. Yahoo! All right, stretch your legs right out here. And we're gonna reach the arms out, okay? So you're gonna do a couple rollbacks, a couple little core exercises, and then a deeper stretch.